Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out in the greenhouse and I have been experimenting with putting bubble wrap on our greenhouse. I've seen a lot of people doing it and it's a good efficient way but it's not as eco-friendly so I've chosen not to do this up till this point. We haven't got any straw bales and I really need to stop the heat transfer from our compost and our hot greenhouse to the outside. So I've been experimenting with this and I wanted to show a few tips on attaching this to a hoop house. When I was looking up how people attach this, I've seen a lot of people using wire and I don't want to use any tape in our greenhouse. I don't want the tape up against our poly. So what I had came up with is just using little strips of foam and mashing them in there and it holds nice and tight and it kind of stretches back and it will hold all of your bubble wrap nice and tight. We've got some bigger pieces up here. It was super simple and it holds it nice and tight. This greenhouse doesn't really blow around in the wind. Everything's cinched down tight. So we've got no play in the poly there. So how I got myself started was with a magnet. I just had some old recycled large magnet. So that magnet really helped us get started because I could just put the magnet up, put a piece of foam and slowly move the magnet down. And where we had wood, we used a staple and some foam and put staples through them. So when we pull that foam back, it won't rip our bubble wrap so we will be able to use this bubble wrap again next year so 20 bucks got us this far and we've got quite a bit of our greenhouse covered but we've got to do the top still so we're going to spend maybe about 40 bucks on all of this new insulation but it is going to really help us out and it's super cheap compared to actual insulation this greenhouse is much warmer than it usually is we've got our compost heat blowing out there and the floor is warmed and we're catching all this passive heat We've got our heat sink in here today. I wanted to talk about all that real quick. Also, got all of our heat sinking going on. It's not super hot. We've got about 70 some degrees and it's sitting about 30 degrees outside right now. Our rock is much warmer than our heat sink because all of that water has to heat up. The rocks seem to hold the heat and build heat much faster because they do not have all that thermal mass of the water to cool off every night so in this little cubby here i had put my mylar foil in the whole backdrop of our heat sink in order to catch all of that radiant sunlight all day and allow that to really heat up and hold some heat throughout the night and it's benefiting all our crops down in the soil in front of it because it's catching all of that heat and banking it throughout the night so the floor of our greenhouse has not really been in the sun very long here maybe about an hour if that and we're sitting about 60 some degrees so we got a little bit of heat transfer but the floor is warmed by our compost so the floor stays about 50 degrees no matter what the temp is outside I want to come down here and show we're blowing about 70 i don't know 71 degree air into our greenhouse through our compost this hosing and this whole wall of our greenhouse is on the outer edge of our compost pile it's all just built up against it so we're pulling 70 some degrees off of the outer edge of the pile blowing it into our greenhouse early in the morning with our little solar panel. As soon as we catch a little bit of light, it starts to activate this system and it starts to blow hot air in here. It is nice and warm. We're sitting about 78 degrees because of the active heating from our compost and the passive heating from the sun. All of these plants just absolutely love it in here. Lots of life coming up in all these beds. It's super easy to sprout and grow when your floor and air is heated and that is why we're insulating the rest of our greenhouse to really hold all that heat so we're not losing all the heat from our compost to the outside temperatures and we can continue to grow all this all winter. With This compost heater has been burning for about six to seven weeks here so what we're going to do is add a little more material to it, a whole bunch of wood chips and we're going to inoculate that and get a nice huge pile built for winter time because we got some warm temperatures coming next week here so we should be able to get some work done outside and get a lot of stuff done and ready for the cold cold temps of winter 